All right, you guys, horrible things are happening. I am freaking out. We are in the middle of homeschool. I just got a message and I am freaking out. Like, ugh, I'm panicking inside. Like, I don't know if I should cry or if I should be worried. I, like, I'm freaking out. So this is the message. and we have homeschool well on our way today. Sophie just went upstairs to talk to Nick because she got a super special surprise today. What are you working on today, Missy? Division. Division, and she's just doing a review. How's it going? Easy or not so easy? Good. Easy. Memorizing your time tables really makes a huge difference, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, little Miss Sophie, tell everybody what you got today. Somebody magic. brought over for you. Magic cards. Somebody gave Sophie all these magic cards. Do you love them? Half horses. Half horses. Leave it to her to find a horsey stuff inside magic cards, huh? All right, sit down here. You have a whole new worksheet, and it is telling time. Sophie's on the telling time part of her. But I already told it. Before. Yeah, you already can tell time. All right, get your pencil. What is my pencil? I don't know. Did you even bring your pencil out here? Yeah. No. She took it. No, that was her pencil. I feel like the struggle to find a pencil is the same for homeschool as it is for real school. It's cold out. My hair has been driving me crazy lately. It's so hot and heavy and long, I think. Time to get it cut. If you guys are new to my channel and you don't know from years ago, I hate getting my hair cut. Hate it. It is like the worst thing. It's like going to the dentist for me. Anyway, I'm headed in to the shed. The messy shed. Please, no wild animals jump out at me. That would be scary. And I'm looking for something. Sam packed this shed. Look at that blue. Do you guys see this blue thing right here? That's a dog stroller. Isn't that the cutest? And that's what I want right there. It usually does not go very well for me when I'm in the shed, but today it went perfect. So you're probably wondering what I want this big, huge, old wash tub for. And I'm gonna tell you. See, whoops. See, I knew somebody would wanna know. Well, let me show you. Putting Ruby inside of it. Yeah, we use this bucket for a lot of photo shoots when the girls are little and when Brooklyn was little. Basically, um, our tree is so tiny and this house has such big, um, big ceilings and I wanted something to raise our tree up and I was like, I have nothing to raise the tree up. And then I saw on Facebook last night, uh, somebody that I have in my friends list actually has the same exact tree as us and a wash bucket and she found it on Pinterest and she put her tree up on top of the wash bucket. So, so that's what I'm gonna try. And Gabby's posing Ruby on it. <laughs> all right, all right, so, was a little bit treacherous Gabby but with died. a little bit Gabby died. It was hard work, huh? No, all right. Also we are gonna work on it and fix it up a little, but I like it better. What do you guys think? I've never found this shirt for a long time. Is that what you were looking for today? It was just like hanging in your closet. No, it wasn't. Where? I checked my closet. For Where was month. it? For a month, it was lying on the ground of my closet. Oh. <laughs> I just picked it up. Oh, yay, it's here. All right, you guys, horrible things are happening. I am freaking out. We are in the middle of homeschool. I just got a message and I am freaking out. Like, ugh, I'm panicking inside. Like, I don't know if I should cry or if I should be worried. I, like, I'm freaking out. So this is the message. This is morning. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Oh, I don't even know if I can read it. So it says, good morning. I just wanted to give you a heads up that Sabrina is mildly colicking. We are handling it currently and will continue to be in contact with the vet. If he or I feel that it's worsening, someone from the clinic will be called out to see her. No need to panic, just wanted to let you know. She basically has a stomach ache. And then I said, oh my God, I'm totally panicking. She said, no need to panic. And I said, oh my God, I'm panicking. 
Like it's just sad it's for me. Panic. So then I so then I went through all the things like, what are we doing wrong? So then I asked her, what are we doing wrong? What what's hat like? Wh are we broadening here too much? Like what is the issue? And she said uh, that the temperature is most likely the cause of it. Some horses are more sensitive. They gave her meds already to help alleviate the pain and reduce inflammation. And no, you're not riding her too much. Ha ha ha. <laughs> but yeah, I just, uh, I feel bad that we're not there with her. I feel bad that I don't know what to do. Don't worry. It's yeah. mild. I had mild sickness once. Yeah, but it, and when Sophia gets sick, it's like two weeks in bed. But what if Sabrina is like Sophia and is that sick? It's mild. We don't even know if she's prone and to colic. And it's just a tummy ache. So. Yeah, anyway, please pray you guys. Hopefully by the time you guys watch this, it'll be all finished and over with. I don't know, I'm just really worried. I'm just, are you worried? Can't concentrate now, I'm just so stressed out. I just wanna get to the barn. I just wanna go and see her. Do you wanna go and see her? Yes, I wanna see her. Sophie, you wanna go to the barn? Uh -huh. Alright, let's go to the barn. Alright you guys, we are racing to the barn. Before we could even get out the door, Fiona messaged me back and said she felt she called the vet, so that's not a good sign. So we are racing to get there so that we can meet the vet there. Oh my gosh, this is this is the worst experience I've ever had in my life. Is this the worst experience? It's not even our horse. Like we love her and but how do you explain to somebody, I'm sorry your horse died because we don't, I don't know, this is horrible. This is the worst. Are you guys getting worried? All right, you guys, we're here at the barn. Oh, here comes somebody. Still breathing? Kind of. He's okay. Okay. I know. I, I could tell. Oh, yeah. So I was like, just, just I know. I'm a panicker. You're oh. better at keeping things calm. We're at the horse barn, and before we even got here, Fiona messaged me and said she filmed the vet. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, pretty girl. Is she eating? Poor girl. She doesn't look that sad, does she? Oh, Yeah, she probably was rolling, I bet you. Sometimes they roll when they have a belly ache. Fresh water, there's water. lots of water. Drink up, Missy. I know you like water. I don't have anything for you. I feel a little better seeing her. She doesn't look horrible. She doesn't look dire. I was Sam's looking at LF. He's like, what do we have to do? What's going on? We need to fix this. Yeah, I've been studying colic all day. I feel a lot better seeing her because she doesn't seem as bad. I pictured that we were gonna get here and she'd be rolling on the ground, freaking out. Not eating. No, uh, I came in this morning and Got half a hay left, okay. full bucket of water untouched, and uh, didn't want to touch anything in the field. She's just been eating now. She was trying to eat now? Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, she was eating the whole time we've been here. Um, Passing manure. Ron told me to leave her in the field, so I couldn't tell you. Okay. <laughs> um, really, really cool was a little slow when I checked it earlier. Yeah. Um, like heart rate is low, seconds. and temperature's low. Okay. Does it change much? It's 99. Perfect. Still normal. You she can't said, get murmurs if they're a little dehydrated. Okay. It's just a flow murmur yeah. that may go away. Well, she hasn't it. drank. Oh, I know she didn't drink last night. I don't know if she drank in the field. She likes to drink too. She drinks a lot. Yeah, usually she drinks a lot. She cup. drinks like she. That's what threw me off. Yeah, she, she drinks. In She's in every night. And didn't drink at all. That's her bucket from, I filled it up yesterday. Like she didn't even slurp it. Yeah, that's not like her. And she ate half of her hay. So. Which is also very unlike her. Yeah, oh yeah, she's a food girl. 
girl you are. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. What a nice girl she is. I think that hurts. Um, it's quite firm feeling. Um, not like huge, but yeah. just lots of it. Yeah, that would explain and it. often with small colon and passions, they're like mild to moderately colicky. Yeah. Dull. Yeah. And not passing much manure. Yeah. We tuber. I think we tuber. Yeah. We get a bunch of water into her, some electrolytes. Um, some oil. And go from there. Oh, <laughs> that's why she's so affectionate. I thought, oh, She does still love you, but right now it's just the drugs. <laughs> yeah, right now she'll just love anybody who's near her. Oh, yeah. look, she just... Oh, you're so pretty. I didn't know you were already medicated. That's why she's gassing. Oh, well that's good. Get all that bad stuff out. Oh, you guys probably know by now that Sabrina got diagnosed with mild to moderate colic. And I'll probably make a complete different video on how we treated our horse for um, colic. Um, basically what we think happened is that the weather changed drastically yesterday. It was really nice and mild and then the temperature plummeted and likely she stopped drinking because the water's cold and sometimes horses do that. I read that before we even came here so it seemed feasible to me. And so just that not drinking for that amount of time caused her um, to not be able to pass all that stool that's in there. And the stool that he pulled out was nice and moist and not too bad so that's why they think it's mild to moderate. Anyway, um, the sedation is worn off and I'm gonna walk her and try and get things moving. She's not gonna get any food for the next 12 hours or so. And then we're gonna wean her slowly back into it. I think I'm gonna ask Fiona about adding water to her grain um, throughout the winter because I've read stuff about that in the past and I think that's a viable option possibly. This is Lola. You guys remember Lola. I've talked about her like that time she almost pushed me in the mud. I'll never forget that Lola. <laughs> anyway, she's on stall rest. Why is she on stall rest? Because, um, uh... She has a, oh, she's trying to get out. She has a small injury to her foot. So... To her her no, foot to her right foot. Out. To her foot. So she's on stall rest for four months. For three months, I think. Anyway, so she's allowed to be walked. So Fiona said, if you guys want to walk her, that'd be great. So she's, Sophie's gonna, so Sophie's gonna walk um, Lola, and I'm gonna walk Sabrina, and we're gonna get these girls all hooked up. Right? Yes. I left Sophia up at the barn, up at the arena with all the girls, there's a bunch of girls up there and Sabrina and she's just gonna groom her and make her feel better and then we're gonna walk her back. In the meantime, I brought Lowell back. Oh, let me tell you, all the problems we had walking Sabrina in the beginning, nothing compared to Lola. She's been on stall rest. That can make you crazy because it made her crazy, holy cow. And I have to tell you guys, I was hardly scared. All right, I was scared. <laughs> I was totally scared, but I stiffened up like Fiona told me and I pretended like I was not scared. And I got her back and it was all good. She wants all right, she is starting to come out of her medication now, of her sedation. She's like, give me food. There's no food in here. How come there's no food in here? Cause. She's not allowed to eat for the next 12 hours, huh? Yeah. So in the morning she'll probably get fed. You gotta poop. You gotta poop first. But look at how frisky she's getting. 
She was so, I like her with sedation. I like you with sedation. And Ziggy was a butthole getting in here. <laughs> Ziggy was? Why, what did he do? He kept on like yanking the leader up out of my hands and not like, he was like trying to run into his, like run into a stall. You think Ziggy was bad? You should have seen, uh, what's her name? Lady? You should have seen Lola. I was walking Lola. Look at their friends. Ziggy and her, they Ziggy just can't. Ziggy like her. Oh yeah, Ziggy likes her. Why don't you put his, pinned his ear? Oh, Ziggy don't pin, oh you know why, maybe because he's eating. You have food in there? Yeah, you have food, lucky boy. He's eating his grain. Yes, Ziggy. Get away from you my grain. Food. And poor, our poor horse is none. Yeah. I swear, oh, yeah. she's like lost the most weight since she's been here. Okay, and now she's going to even lose more because she's not going to have any food. But look, you have all that water. We're going. I want good news in the morning, Sabrina. You be healthy. Poop. You do lots of pooping. Let's go, Mom. Alright, I can't get past her. What a crazy day, you guys. We are home from the barn and we're going to end today's video. I have so much information to share with you and talk about with you guys and explain what we think went wrong. My dog has so much energy. She's running to the living room and then to the toy room. And yeah. the living room and then toy room. Yeah, she's so hyper because she was locked up in her crate while we were at the barn for half the day. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do comment of the day and then we're gonna eat because we're hungry. Are you hungry? I had hot chocolate. Uh-oh. So no. All right, so a comment of the day goes to Jada Stone. I love her name. Anyway, it says, Gabby is doing amazing at riding Sabrina. She does really well at collecting her while she is trotting. I'm happy to see the amazing growth both of the girls have had with the horses. They definitely are getting better every day at riding, and I can't wait to Sophia canter again. So thank you, Jada, for that. And it's funny that you say about the connection, because today when our poor horse had the vet's arm all the way down inside of her, and she did not have any sedation or any... Because she had foals before. Yeah, and she didn't have anything to, really to make her feel calm about it. And she was kind of moving around a little. And as soon as I started saying, it's okay, it's okay, you're okay, Sabrina, you're okay. Almost done, Sabrina. As soon as I started talking quiet and soft to her like that, instantly she just stopped and was calm. And I felt such a huge connection because I felt like really she was looking at to me for comfort and that I made her feel better. Did you see when she did that? Yeah. yeah, I was looking at her the whole time. Yeah. Oh, and there's Macy and Ruby. Anyway, that is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Please continue to pray for us if you if you want to pray because it's not over yet. We are just hoping for the best. She has had um, lots of mineral oil, water, warm water. She's had... Um, electrolytes all put back into her little body and a whole, she's not gonna have any food for the next 12 hours probably till morning mm -hmm. she's not gonna have any grain for a while and we got to see when she starts getting all that stuff out of there but anyway that's it for today we're gonna see you guys tomorrow bye bye and thanks so much for all your thoughts and prayers and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below